thing I want to do is I want to introduce myself. My name is Miss Emma. Oh, Miss Emma. Emma. E M M A. Okay. Oh, that's your name. All right. I do know that. Okay. I do know that. Now I'm going to tell you a little something about Miss Emma. Miss Emma used to be a teacher. I was a teacher for 40 years. Yes. Mm -hmm. Out in a state called California. Okay, and I, my first 10 years of teaching, I taught kindergarten through eighth grade, and then my last 30 years of teaching, I taught at a community college. I was an art teacher, okay, an art teacher. And I always loved the performing arts as well as the visual arts, where you paint and draw and all of that mixed sculptures. I loved the performing arts too, but I was never a musician. I sang and I danced, but I was never a musician. I didn't become a musician until after I retired from teaching. I retired from teaching back in 2010. Okay? And at that time, I became a nurse to my mother, who was living at that time, who was kind of sick, and so she needed me around for all the time. And so I picked up a hobby. I thought it was my hobby. At that time, I was about 63 years old. I picked up this hobby, and I said, ooh, I'm trying to learn something new, I'm 63, but you know what I remember, what I always told my students. Guess what I always told my students? You never, ever, 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 ever stop learning. You learn forever. Education is forever. You learn from the time you begin school all the way until you leave the planet and go to another place. Yes, okay? So then it dawned on me, well, I can change my career. I had a new career now. I became a didgeridoo musician. Who's ever heard of the didgeridoo? I have. I have. Well, the didgeridoo is a wind instrument. It's a wind instrument, and it's an instrument that we know is the didgeridoo in the Northern Territory of Australia, and it was brought to us by the uh, Afro-Indigenous people there called Aboriginal people there came down through the Melanesian Islands, down to the, the, the islands of Australia, and they play it as the didgeridoo. It became the didgeridoo because of the sound it made to people who came to those islands later and visited and came to know these Aboriginal people. Well, the Aboriginal people call it the Yadaki. Yadaki, that's what they call it because it's from their region and a whole area of people known as the Nidaki. Okay? So, that's how we get these names for the didgeridoo. Now, the Western is called the didgeridoo because of the sound it made. They said, what is that? Didgeridoo. And they said that, and they referred to it. Okay, you're going to play that didgeridoo thing, and then it just caught on. And the people have accepted it and they've shared it with the world now as the didgeridoo. <laughs> so I play the didgeridoo. I have been playing the didgeridoo for five years now. Okay? It's a kind of a short length of time for most didgeridoo players because it's a pretty difficult instrument to learn to play. You can't just blow into a didgeridoo. In a didgeridoo, you have to drone. It makes a drone sound. So you can't blow, you know. <laughs> nothing, you won't do nothing. It's not going to make any sound. You have to do a special effect and learn to. That's what I do with it. You have to make your lips vibrate to get a drum. shape did you use the way they are put together too before this whole presentation is over, okay? But I learned to drum and I was given this lesson by my oldest son's best friend who happened to be a didgeridoo maker and player. So he taught me the basic mechanics and he gave me a challenge. He said, Miss Emma, he called me Mama Emma because he's like my son's brother. Mama Emma, if you know to play didgeridoo by circuit
regular breathing and holding a drum, in two weeks, I will give you a didgeridoo for free. Wow! <laughs> 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 well, you know me, I've been working very hard at that. Yes, I do. Oh, so I went every day, every day, every day, every day. I took those lessons he gave me and I worked them every day. And then all of a sudden, I could hold my note and circle to breathe in seven days. Seven days. And, and I talk to people, they say it took them a year, six months, three months, all of those types of, even my teacher told me it took him a whole month to learn to say it. He's my teacher. So when I learned it so quickly, you know what I discovered? I discovered, oh, it's going to be my teaching tool. I'm going to continue to teach with this teaching tool. And that's what I do. The digital do is very spiritual. It's very special. And it has resonance with the earth vibrations. That's true. I'm not making it up. It's scientifically true. The drones and didgeridoos have notes that are in tune with the vibrations out in the cosmic world, where the scientists study all the cosmic vibrations out there, and those big satellite dishes you see sitting out there, and they listen for everything in space, and they have discovered that. So it's true. You can Google it. <laughs> you know, we can Google everything now. Mm -hmm. So now, I'm going to drone. I'm going to show you what I mean when I say circular breathe. You cannot play a didgeridoo song. You can play a didgeridoo and not be able to circular breathe because you make all kinds of sounds with it. Animal sounds and everything. But to make a song, you have to be able to circular breathe. <laughs> Like this. 
and this trail goes like this. And this is just straight out. But the analogy is inside there is zero. You have no finger holes, no reeds, no anything. All the sounds that come from the didgeridoo have to come from here and the diaphragm and the lungs. The lungs are the bellows. Who knows what a bellows is? A bellows. You know that instrument that has one of the greatest bellows ever? Bagpipe. The bagpipe player kind of does what didgeridoo players do with the circular breathing thing, only his bellows is under his arm when you see him mesh down like that when he's playing that. That back, my bellows is right inside me. So I circle to breathe and control my bellows. Okay? This one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little C did to try practice. And I can do the same thing in here that you see me doing this one. And I can and I can do those things in here too. Everything I do in this one, I can do. This one is a coil, did you do? Know? Made from fiberglass, but they like to keep it attached to the natural elements of life if they can. So then they put some sand painting. So they cover it in sand to take something natural to put there. These are very likely. This one, this one is made from the agave plant, of the giant agave cactus plant. It comes from California. This is yucca and this is yucca. Also cactus plants and they have this big board that grows up in the middle of it and they harvest it out. They clean all the stuff out and then they make a digital tool. Mm -hmm. This one by the blast dig, I call this my real happy dig because it makes me move around. And I teach something real important with this dig. Yes, that we should study on the right path. But we should tread the path of justice. Because the truth is the right path. Can everybody say that right there? Tread the path of justice. Yes. Because the truth is the right path. Yes. Tread the path of justice. And I play a little song when I tell you. Tread the path of justice. Truly is the right path. We tread the path of justice. Because the truth is the right path. Let's see from the right key. Like 
that all people can come together and make a harmony that is so beautiful that it will overshadow every ugliness on the planet. Yes, it will. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all about unity, love, and harmony. And Mama Emma and Miss Emma, whichever one you prefer to call me, I believe in that way. Every fiber that you see standing before you today. Okay. So now let's see what this thing sounds like when it's in full unity.
Do you know what that kind of means? The earth is but one country and mankind is citizens. What does that mean? Anybody have an idea? Yes. Peace. Peace. <laughs> what else? <laughs> That's a very good peace. Anybody else have a suggestion? <laughs> well, it means no matter who you are, where you live, what you look like, how old, how young, how whatever, we are all in one unity. We should all be in one unity, no matter where we find ourselves in who we are. We are all a citizen as a person who lives in a place. We all live on what? The planet Earth. That's right. No matter what country, what town, what state, we all live on planet Earth. So Earth is one country, and mankind is citizens, okay? And only this, you see these stars, you see these uh, nine-pointed stars here? Those are all representations of the stars of the heavens. And all of that out there has been spinning in space all around this planet. Mm -hmm. And see the green? The green is all about the earth. The earth, you never all see the green trees and everything out there. The green is about that. See that red? That red is about the blood that courses through every human being. We all are the same. All our blood is like that. No matter who we are, what we look like on the outside, all our blood. <laughs> okay? So we kind of all the same under all of this other stuff we have on the outside. This is a part of who we are, and it describes us, it gives us a personality, it gives us style, and all that stuff. Okay? But the important thing is what's going on in the heart. And the heart is my favorite shape. Because the heart not only stands for that that beats inside of every human being, but it stands for love. Love. Okay. So now I'm going to play this very special. In this did we do, you will hear me do hums. You will hear me do oh oh vocalizations. You will hear me do rhythm. Things like that. All be done all in one time, all in one unity, and it comes out to be a beautiful harmonic song. All right, so I'm gonna play. I play my grandmother's rhythms, I play my daddy's, my grandmother's hums, my daddy's uh, rhythms in this because they are part of my whole family lineage, part of my heritage, okay? So I'm gonna play that for you. By the way, this was in the key of C sharp. This was in the key of B flat, low B flat. This is C sharp. <clears throat>
see how I'm there. Oh, you're not gonna play? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> two, three, four. We're gonna start with four. All right. Now I have a special digit. Yes, I have special digit dues for all of you. This is a free digit. <laughs> Some 